And guys, just getting set up. How's everybody? Don't forget on the chat, guys, all panelists and attendees, you need to wave your wand over the screen that's being shared and just open the chat box, all panelists and attendees. Let me know when you are in, where you're from, and that you can hear me. In the chat box. Hey Rob, how you doing? Daniel? Hey Vic, hey Paul. Hey Tim. Sarah. Hey Mark, how you doing? How's lockdown treating everybody? We've had over four weeks of lockdown here in Spain. <laughs> Literally stinks. <laughs> so start a little early where we just did. Hi, Ralph. Just going to give it one more minute and get going because we got way over 100 registered for this. And I just want to make sure everybody's in before we get going. How you doing, Yuri? I haven't drunk Trevor because I've had the virus. I had it for 10 days. I'm just at self isolation now. So not just a drop. Thank you. Thank you, Rusty. <coughs> just got a little cough left. <clears throat> My grandson and daughter had it as well in the UK. I think they had it worse than me. Thank you, Laysel. Okay, guys, I think we're going to get going in a second. Some of you have already subscribed to the Smart Stocks Scanner membership. Now, this is the roller coaster scanner for the stocks on the daily time frame. So we're looking to swing stocks. Uh, we're looking for trend reversals, if you like, or nice big swings. But what I wanted to do today is to go through some of the signals that have just come out recently, some that are older, and go through what I would look for on the chart, because these are just signals. What you need to do, and some of you that have attended live with me is you need to put your linear support resistance zones in, your channels, understand where you are in the trend, that sort of thing. And basically, see if you've got some fresh air above or below the short or long signal, okay? That's very, very important. Good morning, Gary. So we're going to get started here. So the stock scanner, basically the ones with the red arrows these are new signals for today and at the end of the day when we get the end of day data we publish any new signals but also also what we do do is the ones that are in the trade already we adjust the trailing stop so this trailing stop position here for example this is the stop for the order once it's in and we adjust that trailing stop we adjust it every day so it stays on the scanner because we're actively manning, managing the trade automatically for you. You just have to adjust your stop. And there's no, uh, there's no stress, there's no pressure. This is a daily time frame. it's a swing. Even if you get up the next morning, check the trades that you're in, see where the stop is and adjust it. Morning Gary, another Gary. So there's no stress in swing training stops at all, okay? So what I want to do is uh, it's very, very simple. We've got the symbol. Again, if it's got a red um, lightning bolt next to it, it's a new one, whether it's long or short, the date of the signal, the entry price, and the stop. Again, if it's not got a uh, lightning bolt, it's an old signal. It still may not be in yet, 
Uh, but if it is, we're adjusting the trailing stock for you, okay? One of the main things is it gets taken off if either the trailing stop or the stop loss is taken out, okay? And again, this refreshes overnight, every night. So you get, part of your daily routine is get up, switch this on, look at new trades, look at existing trades, and this basically forms your watch list for Hey Jose. So I'm not looking at, I will look at them, uh, you know, let's, let's have a look. So AMD is a good example. You're in it right now, uh, Trevor. I don't know whether you've taken this signal. Uh, this was on the 26th of March, long, uh, and it's giving me the trading stop position there. So let's just move that off there for a second. Let's go to AMD. Okay. Let me get rid of this a second. Okay, so we've had the signal here and the stop is still near the original stop. We haven't printed the trading stop yet, okay? It's, this is not based off the Elliott wave, Sarah. It is based off our roller coaster strategy, which is that stochastic MACD cross with our three points of control, okay? So let's have a closer look at AMD and see how we would set this trade up normally. So it's still on the watch list because it's in profit. The stop loss is still where it is and we haven't started printing the trailing stop yet. But when you get a trade like this, you've got to look at previous support and resistance zones. Where are they, okay? So one of the things I like to do is have the roller coaster and the Elliott wave on at the same time because one of the big zones for me is always a wave four pullback, these lows here, okay? Let me just put that in a different color. This is very, very important, okay? So this wave four pivot is very, very important. For me, in this particular case, the entry long is above this wave four pivot, okay? No, uh, there are, a, there's a smart list for the bits. There's a smart list scanner for stocks and there will be a smart list for roller coaster um, futures soon. And this is a roller coaster smart scanner for stocks, okay? You need to enter on the signal line. Let's go over to AMD. The entry on AMD, 47.51, which is this green line here, okay? 47.51. It's above here. The next thing, we've got these highs. Let's put that in. Change that. So what we need to look at here everybody is risk to reward so we're going to use a fib extension tool we a fib extension tool you click three times and this is the way to work out your risk to reward okay so we click once level with the stop okay down here we click the second time on the entry and the third time on the entry now so this we risk one whole hundred percent for 100% and 10, the 110% risk to reward there. That's not bad for a roller coaster because when you, I'm not saying it's exact because it works on an EMA, but when you get uh, through the 50%, usually you start to print the trading stop around about break even. So at least we can manage that trade to, to that break even point there, okay? And then you can go for this is why when we look at risk reward and Elliott way we have a minimum of one to 1 1.6 for me i have a minimum of one to one on these because when you get a runner you get a runner the thing is for this let me just take the volume off here a second um, So in this case, we've had a fifth wave move. We've had a short roller coaster, which worked out pretty well. Uh, trading stop was taken out, profit. Then we've had 
This, and that signal would have come up on the stop smart scanner. Then we've had the long signal. It's now in profit. We haven't put the trading stop in, but the, the scenario is we've got a one-to-one -one down to this point here. We printed the trading stops here, okay, roughly when we were at 50%, and then we took out a profit of the trading stop here. The same is here. We could come up and test this level. Oh, wrong drawing tool there, sorry, all right. We could come up and test this level here, and then we come back down again, okay? And come down and test this level. The thing with the roller coaster is you go from overbought to oversold, to overbought, to oversold. If you do get a runner, and it continues in the overbought zone and makes new highs, or if you're in a short, two lows, you're early in a trend. It's it, this not the, the, the way five high becomes resistance, Trevor. Okay. So let's do some more examples. The thing is with this session today, it's about doing examples just to show you how I would set up that the chart and use the, um, the signals. So I'm going to keep pulling it across to show you. So the next one, Oop, that's the that's the website. That's not the uh, stock scanner. So we've got a new signal on the 9th of April. Okay, it's not triggered yet. Uh, the long here on ANF 11.92 with a stop at 7.40. Okay, so I'm going to look at the chart of ANF. Okay, so we've had a nice tumble down. Now ANF when we were beta testing this, did give us the short signal on the stock scanner, uh, but it was taken out and, did, and then came back down. So we've gone from overbought to oversold, and now we're looking to push long. So again, we use our risk to reward. Let's, let's, do, let's go back, sorry, apologies. Still getting into the groove. I'm going to look left for major support and resistance zones, okay? So I've got a little high here, and I've got some highs here. This is a resistance zone, so I'm going to click on there, and I'll bring that across. And this here is resistance, okay? There's a little bit of resistance here. I'm going to put that on. I'm going to put it on in grey. So we've got these lows. We've got this high pivot here. But this is my major resistance point, okay? We've broken out this trend channel. Again, we've got a bearish trend channel here. Nice and tight, that one, okay? It's broken out of that. We've clustered a little bit around this area, but we've now broken some good highs. So, so far, so good, looks pretty good. What's the risk reward? Again, we're gonna use the regression, uh, sorry, extension, Fibonacci extension. We're gonna to go to the stop, okay? See the low here, 742, so the stop's gonna be 741. I'm gonna click once. We're gonna go up to the entry price, which is uh, 1192. Let's do 93 for now, we're fine. And click second time and then click a third time, okay? So then that puts us our Fib extension on here. So we're gonna risk 100% to the next big resistance zone is 160%. Great risk reward. We've got this little beggar in the way right here right now, but um, it's around the 50% and we most likely could start to print the trading stop if we get a good move up to that point. So again, you've got to think to yourself, am I prepared to take that risk? This is a previous support zone, little bit of resistance there, not a lot. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the major resistance is up here. I've got a decent risk reward. I put an order on for this, guys. I'm telling you now, this, um, for me, I'm using this as an indication that maybe things might be turning around with COVID-19 and the stock markets are starting to go again. 
So I'm looking at some of these, looking at these risk rewards and think, you know what, if it goes back and tests these highs, I've got a one to 1.6. I can risk a thousand bucks to win 1600 bucks there. That's a good looking trade. Let's have a look at, look at another one. CLR is another one here. Now this, again, I've got my Elliott wave here, but look at this original, which was a signal here. Let me highlight this. This was on the beta on the stock scanner. That was the green entry short. That was the stop loss. Trailing stop was printed all the way down to here. Okay, that risk to reward, if I measure it very, very quickly. Uh, it's something like one to 10. Let me just put that on there. Oh, maybe not quite that far. I was getting too excited then, wasn't I? Let's go for a seven. Uh, 7.5. 7 so, on this short signal that came from the stocks smartly scanner, on the daily time frame, you went short at 33.18. <coughs> Trading, trading stock was taken out at 10.46. You risk $1,000 going short, you win $7,500 on there. Okay? Really great looking trade. So, remember the roller coaster is about going from oversold to overbought to oversold, to overbought. So now we've had this on our Elliott wave. It's saying this is a wave three, but this wave four has got quite a way to go. Have we got any major support resistance zones? We've got one here that could be um, potentially in our way for a move up. So we're going to put that in. Okay. Let's draw it a little fatter. So what I've done here is taken in this low. I've taken this massive support here. We're clustering around here. We've got resistance. Okay, so this is a major resistance zone. And so, let me go left a little bit more. Mm, yeah, this one here. Oops. That's quite a fat one, but that will come in handy. So. One thing I am noting, and again, those that have attended my live events, and there is one at the end of this month, by the way. Um, I should be in New York, but I'm doing it online. And then when I can travel back to the USA, I'm doing it in New York. So you get to attend twice. I talk about talk, talking to yourself, okay? I talk about describing what you see. Um, so here, I've had the wave three come down, I've traded this short, made a lot of money. Potential now is a wave four pullback. Where could that wave four pull, get pullback really go to, okay? I would say this is a really good looking $28 sort of, it's in the amber zone, everything looks good there. By the way, what I'm gonna do is just put I know Gary and quite a few others are already booked for the live training at the end of this month. That's the link in the chat. Come and join me live for a whole weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, 12, 15 hours of training live, interactive. You can ask questions and then you get to come and see me live and do the same sort of thing uh, when I can get to New York. But let's go back to this. So now we had a way three. Let's trade the wave four pullback. We've got a good looking um, risk reward here. I'm just going to measure it again. I'm going through the same procedures. I put support resistance zone on. This first support resistance zone into the amber zone for the wave four pullback. When I look left, looks very, very strong here. If we get some continuation, some bullish movement away from these lows, it could come and test this line. So I put my risk reward in. Fib extension. Stop is 6.89, one cent below the low there. Uh, doing 86 for now, because I know it's going to be good. Entries around about 14, nine, where's the entry on CLR? 14.97. I like to go over 15, so 
two would be good. Look at that, risk to reward one to 1.6. So potentially now, <clears throat> this trade triggers, you get a nice move up, you're risk free by the time you hit this little resistance zone here, just past the 50%, around $20. It'll print the trade and stop, you'll be risk free, okay? Then, I'm not saying that it, it, it could go up to 22 before it does that, but you know, on average, um, the system does it automatically. And what it'll do, again, I'll bring it across, is it will print the trailing stop on the stops smart scanner. So when we look at CLR down here, 1497, I've gone 1502, okay? And then when it hasn't printed the stop yet, because it's not triggered, but when it does, if we go and start printing the trailing stop, it will print it on the stocks smart scanner. It will only disappear if the stop is taken out or the trailing stop. So I've got a risk reward of one to 1.6 here. What if we go really bullish and we get a nice rebound on the markets? This is a one to three up to this point here. We get a wave four failure. Potentially then we're in a new bullish trend. Where have we got to go to? Oh, we've got 52 bucks there. It's at $15 now. <clears throat> You've got to be in it to win it, guys. You don't know when it's going to be a trend reversal. For now, we're just looking for going from oversold to overbought. Excuse me a minute. Just going to get some water. Sorry about that, guys. So this, um, <clears throat> this green, amber, red is the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. So what will happen potentially is we get a Wave 4 pullback into this amber zone. We trade it. We make money. Okay? It comes up to here. We've got a nice Wave 4. We measure it with our 535 and with our stochastic. We've made money. Our trading stop takes us out if it comes back down. We take the profit and then we look for a fifth wave move short down through here. So this, what it does with the stock smart scanner is it gets you early into a trend. You trade the roller coaster, uh, but potentially you, you've actually been able to trade stocks more. So at this moment in time, it looks like there could be a way for pullback here. Let's make some money on it on the roller coaster. It'll start printing the trading stops. You'll be risk free and you'll make money. If it does reach that sort of level and starts to turn back down and takes your trading stop out and takes, gives you profit. If the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite sets up all the rules and a lot of you have been through that already, you trade the short fifth wave move. <coughs> Still part of your analysis, Jason, you know, does this respond well to, um, to, you know, is it in the groove on the daily time frame? Absolutely. There's a great trade there. Trading stops taken out on the long there. Uh, this one failed. This one was a winner here. This one was a winner here. This one trading stop taken out. This one was never traded. This has got an 85% win rate. So you've got to think, yes, I'm looking left, looks good, where you go. I take the trade through the entry price. So I put a stop limit order on. It prints after this candle closes. We get down today. I decided that 1497 is on the, uh, the smart scanner. I actually want to go above $15. So I put an order on, a stop limit order, to buy $1,000 worth of these shares at $1,502. Let it go. That's it. I don't look for a pullback because when these go, <coughs> let's look at the short here. Printed that day, order on that day, boom. Trevor, you cannot wait for a pullback doesn't happen very often. When they go, they go. 
This was a seven and a half thousand dollar trade for risking a thousand dollars. You can't wait for that pullback. You've got to put your your stop uh, stop limit order on. Let's look at another example. <clears throat> Potentially have earnings at the end of this month. Yes. Okay. Um, Sebastian, I've got a little bit of time. I've got a, a week or so. If it can get a nice runner, I, even my trading stop wasn't there, I might just take the profit and run. Uh, depends, you know, earnings are all going to be bad, okay? But some of them will be good. I mean, you, you look at Netflix today, it's up $21 today. Shop is up $30 today. A lot of stocks are red today, okay? So <clears throat> every stock is in their own cycle, yeah? Got to do your own due diligence and everything like that. But there's still a bit of room left yet uh, to trade this. But if you are, again, it's part of your process to look at when is earnings due? What was the last earnings result? What happened? It continued to go down here. What happened the previous earnings result? We got a little bounce off support. Have we got support right now? We have, but we're not in there. So all of these things have got to be going through your mind. Linear support resistance zones. Are we in a trend channel? Have we got a lot enough risk to reward? When is the earnings? 27th, okay, what's the date now? We've got a week and a bit, okay? This, if this motors and moves and get to 50% before earnings, take it off, yeah? Uh, sometimes you have got to be in it to win it. Uh, so let's have a look at a couple more. Uh, let's look at he HPE. Controversial, this one. Okay, controversial. So, <coughs> we've got support here and here. So, I'm going to put this level in. That is really strong level there. Just outside the red zone for that Elliott wave. Okay, we've got nice resistance there as well. Okay. So here, I'm going to highlight this one, going through my thinking. We've got resistance, resistance, support. Here, whoops, got a lot of support and clustering around here as well. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got this support here. So this is, this is where I'm sort of framing the chart, if you like. We've got a wave four pullback. We've got a lot of way to go on the 535. Looks pretty good. Let's put my risk to reward on. Go to the stop, 742. What I'm going to do, entry on HPE, let me just have a look on the smart stock scanner, 1081. Okay, so some things to talk about and discuss here. Again, we've got a wave for pullback. Where's that gonna find resistance? We've got another resistance here. Why didn't anybody shout up and tell about, talk me about that one? That's a good one there, okay? Got a nice double bottom there. We've got to take that into consideration here on the left. Okay, so that support zone probably would mean that's where this particular wave four could find resistance and come back down. Okay, if it does, remember this is the daily time frame. You've got a lot of time to put the trailing stop at break even. Okay. Even if the train stops not printing break even and you get some resistance up here, guess what? Get out or just put it at break even. Because what if this bounce continues? We're going to test this level. Okay, we're going to test this level. Then all of a sudden we're in wave four failure mode and we've got one of those V type bounce effects, which could happen in the market. I'm not saying it is, but that could happen. We're in it early. Okay. Gives you plenty of time. Remember, swing trading stocks, it's not like day trading. You've got a lot of time to make decisions. 
Emma, yes, the, the title of the webinar was Stock Scanner. So this is just for stocks, okay? We will be doing a smart list for roller coaster for futures. Uh, we're in beta testing for that in the moment. There will be a webinar for that uh, at a future date. The chart labels for entries and stops. Those, that's our algorithm that's printing those, okay? So we're looking at a mixture of stochastic, MACD cross with three special points of control, which gives us a high probability uh, incident that we can print a stop entry, and then we start printing the trailing stops. Okay. Okay, we've had JP Morgan, okay. So in this case, let's look at both of these. We've got earnings tomorrow, okay? This is an earnings play. Okay, okay, Emma. So let's look at JP Morgan, entry for the short. This was on the, start, the smart stock scanner when we were beta testing here. I'm gonna highlight it here. That was the entry in green, okay? That was definitely a, another $7,000 trade, okay? <clears throat> we've pulled back up, but we've, we've actually breached this previous wave four pivot. So potentially, we're in a trend reversal. So we've gone overbought to oversold. We've traded short here. We've got a potential sign here. Why do I see potential signs? We've got a low here. We've got a pullback against that move. We've got a higher support level here, okay? So we've got a little bit of a trend line forming through here. Okay, that sort of thing there. So it's not massive at the moment, but let's do some work on this. Let's take this away. Let's look at the major support and resistance zones. Let's look left a little bit here. Ooh, we've got one right where the entry is there, okay? So that's going to affect how we use the entry for this. Okay, so I'm not looking at the entry. I'm looking and I'm going along. I'm looking at one, two, three, four, five tests of this support level. If I take that left a little longer, Okay, I'm looking for another test there. This is a big line, okay? So that is going to affect where we put the entry for JPM. What's our next level zone, if you like? Okay, have we got one there? We have got a really big one there. Okay, and we've got the double dip bottom there. Okay, so we're going to put another one in here. Taking in this low pivot and this high there. So we've got some um, some resistance up there. We've got earnings coming up. Could be a good earnings play. We've got the stop. Now this stop is printed below this pivot, not this bottom pivot. Okay, so it's around about there. I got to go long above there. So 105.61. So we are. I've got to go above this resistance zone. So although my entry on the the smart starts the stocks smart scanner is giving me 104.40, I'm actually going 105.61 above this resistance zone. That gives me a one to 1.1 to this major one. And we got a little one here around about 0 0.5. If we get a great earnings play and we push that through that entry, stop limit order, and it goes, we're great. If not, and it comes down and we're not in this, it doesn't matter. But JP Morgan got earnings, okay? So we wait um, for the market to open. We put the stop limit order on. If it gaps up above it, we've got no trade. If we move through there, for example, We've got a good looking um, trade there. Roku on the list. Roku, Roku, Roku. 
Not at the moment. That's probably because the candle hasn't closed for today. Yeah, the, this candle hasn't closed yet, Trevor. Okay, so you're seeing it on your chart as this, as today's candle moves, so will this. It's not on the start, the, the, the scanner yet because the candle hasn't closed. It could drop like a rock today, okay? So we wait for the candle to close. We've got a good signal and then it will be on the scanner tomorrow. What this does, this scanner scans every single stock on the US stock market of a value over $10 and that trades more than $500,000 a day. So you're getting some juice, uh, you've got a good volume to make things move. And then this gives you the results. Roku isn't on there yet because the day hasn't closed. Okay. That makes sense, Trevor? Say yes, Paul. Okay. I'm trying to look. Oh, yeah. I'm looking for another short that was on. This is no, this is, this is, um, emerging now okay so this is another one this this now is merged with rtm it's called rtx but this was in fact a great looking short again roller coaster here very small risk to reward trading stop starts to get printed and that was and it still is i need to get them to take it off on the start smock spanner i tell you why it's still there because this, the trailing stop hasn't been taken out. So this is why it keeps adjusting the trailing stop for you so it doesn't appear off here. Again, it's not just a scanner to give you those new results. It actually tells you where you should be putting your trailing stop each day. MU, so look at MU. Oops. Okay, MU is in, but it's not printed a trading stop yet. Okay, NRZ is still. Uh, I can't tell you um, how this trade is just immense okay this nrz is still on the scanner it's still managing the trade nrz there 6.8665 or 6.86 is the trading stop position right now this trade triggered or was the order was given on the 26th of february at 16 dollars 63 cents it is still on the smart list because we haven't taken the trailing stop out. We came very close, but we haven't taken it out. Let's look at the risk to reward on this, okay? Stop, entry, holy moly. I think it's gonna be more than 10. Oops. Okay, you risk a thousand dollars and you're at ten thousand dollars for this trade right now. <clears throat> so again, it's about this spotting those potential trend reversals, those going from oversold to overbought. This scanner tells you you can't physically look through all of these stocks. This stock at the time trade was trading over ten dollars. It had more than five hundred thousand shares traded a day. It gave a short signal. It's still on the stock scanner right now because the trading stop hasn't been taken out. You risked a thousand dollars on this trade. You're in ten thousand dollars profit right now. Okay, really, really strong. Let's have another look on here. Oh. My dog's come down to see me. He hasn't seen me all day. Uh, lift. Let's have a look at Lift. 
Let's do some work on lift. <coughs> okay. Let's have a look at major support resistance zones. This is the um, listing price. We'll leave that on there. So we've got uh, quite a bit of support going off up here. So I just need to find the line of best fit. I'm going to go low to this low here. And those lows there. Okay. I don't like this one, and I'll tell you why. We'll do the risk reward in a second. So, taking those lows in there, those lows in there, okay, and those lows in there. Right, so we've got a good support resistance zone there. We've got quite a big one here. Double top, in fact, there, triple top. Okay, so now. It's met the criteria to give you a signal on the scanner. We put the risk to reward in. We click once on the stop, once on the entry. Ooh. It is to the 0 0.5 to that big resistance zone, but it is a big one. I'd rather that be at one to one, not one to 0 0.5. So this one doesn't make the cut for me. Again, Trevor, it's not on the stock scanner. I will look. It's the last time I will do, though, because we're talking about the stock scanner and how to use it, okay? For some reason, it's not on. Why is it not on? Because there's obviously not trading very many stocks at, uh, shares at the moment. It's a very expensive stock. NTES is not on the scanner, um, purely because the volume, I can tell the volume is very low because it's gapping, Okay. So the volume is too low for the scanner. Okay, MPW, again, I'll bring the scanner over, was a new signal. There it is, lightning flash, 1917 with a 1524 stop. Let's have a look at that, let's work on it. Again, you've got to do, got to do some of the work here, guys, okay? Let's have a look, main support and resistance. Okay, so that one is, let me just take the bits off there. It's been really annoying at the moment. So let's take these off. Okay, because I just want to see where this, ooh, we've got major resistance there. It's below the entry. This one here is below the entry. One, two, three, four, five, six clustering on all of these. This is a big zone, guys, and the entries above there. What have we got above there that's going to, you know, give us some? We've got pivots here. We've got higher pivots. Got a pivot there, pivot there. No, that's a that's that's a, that's a trend channel. It's not giving us support and resistance zones. Excuse me a minute. I've got a major zone in there. So now I'm going to look for something minor that's going to help me. No. Higher, higher low there. Higher low, higher low, higher high, higher high. We've not even got low pivots coinciding with high pivots there. So in reality, with this one, we've got to look at the highs here. Okay. So let's have a look at the risk reward. We're getting close to a wave four failure now. Okay. We're not quite there yet, but we're getting close. We have got earnings potentially coming up at the end of the month. I've got a feeling some people, some of these companies may not do them. Uh, so this is printing the stop right here, 1528. 
entry uh, was uh, 1917. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we have a 1 to 1.3 to the highs there. Also, that coincides was around, around about this, the bottom end of this channel. Can we get back into that channel? Or is it going to ask, act as resistance? Risk rewards pretty good there for me. Only issue is earnings coming up. It has moved down today. You know, could there be a wave five short? Ooh, it's pretty ugly. Um, but what this does is allows me, if I just put regression trend channel on there a second, but I don't think it's very, whoops. See, going low, short, you've got to be below this pivot here, so there's no risk to reward there. Okay. I'm just talking to myself, guys, talking to you, actually looking, telling me what the chart tells me. I'm looking for a potential trend uh, way for failure here. It's above the major support resistance zone. I'm looking for this trend to fail. Okay, we've had some nice moves up, some higher support levels. Could do come back down, get a higher support level again, not take the stop out for the order. Then I'd be really interested in putting this on 1917. So can you see how I am <clears throat> using this smart stocks scanner to try and look for those swing trades a way for failure trevor is when the the way for go through past the red zone okay that is a way for failure that means this downward trend the pullback against it is too deep so the way for fails that happens especially when we've had massive downward moves because of covid19 um, and we get that V shape again will everybody I don't know whether anybody's talking about it but we could get that V shape rebound I'm not saying it's going to happen uh, but if that happens this is the sort of progression that we'll get and then it could come back down again on a second wave of COVID-19 but we have to be in it to win it and we've got some potentially good trades from this stock scanner let's have a look at another one uh, square SQ. Right, the oscillator is a trial version. They sell. This is not available to any of you guys because it's not working properly. Okay. So again, we're looking for a way for failure on square. The entry is 64.95. I need to be in just above 65, really. Okay. So we've got to look at square. We've got to look left. Um, again, we, are, we this route, <sighs> winner, loser, winner, 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 loser, this has got about a 75-80% win rate on roller coaster square. It's not a bad one. Let's look left. Let's put our support and resistance zones in. Okay, this is a big one here. Forget the high. We've got double top here. We've got a top there. Okay, that's really, really important. Is anything else going to get in our way before then? Probably not, and then we've got the highs. Okay, around about a hundred dollars. No coincidence there. Whole hundred dollar mark. Right. So at this moment in time, we've got earnings out in May. But let's look at the risk to reward. Thirty. Thirty-two. Thirty-two goes one cent below that low. I'll do for now. Go to the entry on the scanner, 64.95. I'm going to be 65.11. Okay. Ooh, we're not even 0 0.5 before that strong resistance zone there. 
uh, we're one to 1.1 to the next zone to the, the all time highs. There's a massive risk to reward here. So some thinking here. Okay, so can I adjust my stop to here? If I'm not, you know, if, I, if it falls below this pivot here, we're going short into the fifth wave target zone. So I, as an adult, uh, can see this pivot point here. I'm a reasonably good trader. That's going to be my stop below there. My entry is still going to be the same. Now, let's take the old risk reward off. What does that give me? 1 to 0 0.75, 1 to 1 to this pivot, 1 to 1.6 nearly to the all-time high. That's better, but I'm tighter on my stop. So be aware, if you do do this, you do do it, okay? Your trailing stop will take a little bit more time to get to break even, okay? So it won't start printing a trailing stop until we get to break even. That could take some time. So if you're going to adjust your stop slightly higher, reduce the risk, but increase the reward, okay? It's not a bad looking trade. And most likely we are, by the time we get to this resistance zone here, we're most likely to be around about break even and that trading stop being um, put in there. So, you know, there is an opportunity in Square. We have got earnings on the 6th of May. Got a little bit more time here. Looks pretty good. And again, we are looking at a wave for failure. Okay. We're looking for it to hit this red zone. Boom, gone. The wet, this trend is over. Yeah. If it doesn't and it starts to come back down, we could look for a short below this pivot. But right now, my stock scanner is telling me I'm going to go along. It, it, you know, on square, it says 64.95. Bring it over again. 64.95. Sensibly, I'm not going to go until it goes through $65. So stock limit order 65.11. I'm going to be a little tighter on my stop than the software is giving me because, again, uh, I've attended my own courses. Uh, I know this pivot is an ABC correction. If it does continue to go, that's fine. If it breaks this, it's going to come down and hit this fifth wave move. So I'm, I'm going to adjust the stop sensibly up here. Don't know what you're talking about the yellow chart label this is a this yellow here is for the elliott wave oh this no uh, yeah that's for um ignore that that's for the bits okay that's for the bits indicator i've got all three on here yeah ignore that let's look at Z. Zillow. Oh, that's not loading up. No, oh, that's not loading up. That's a bit strange. Try another one that's in. Anybody else having problems with their think or swim right now? Very strange. Uh, I'm having issues with data. Irish out. Uh, well, that's happening. Let me try and uh, open the trader. See if it can get data on there and do it on there. You can still hear me, can't you guys? We've done a lot of lot of examples today. And for some reason 
I'm having some data issues at the moment. Uh, I can't uh, open IndiaTrader right now because um, I've still got the other data thing on there. We apologize. Um, Okay, I'm having some issues with data at the moment on Think or Swim. So, thank you, Gary. Very, very strange. Anybody else having issues with data? Okay, let me do one. Let me try one thing. Okay, I struggle. I mean, we've been on an hour, guys. I've shown you lots of examples. Um, let me just pull back up the smart list just to go through that again. Remember, <clears throat> the important thing is we give you the signals for the roller coaster, but you must, you must. Uh, look at, look left, look at support resistance zone, see if you've got enough risk reward. If you've got at least one to one to the next major support resistance zone, you've got to, you, you're going to go for it. You've got to work out your risk and you're going to go for the longs or the shorts on this roller coaster. Why? There's an 85% win rate. We're going to be publishing uh, some um, back testing data soon. Uh, and that gives us on this daily time frame are using our roller coaster smart stock scanner an 85% win rate. Okay, uh, so if you have that risk reward, you must you, you got to go for it. Uh, we can do send me a, uh, an email, Tim. I'll, I'll certainly do that at the moment. We are sorting alphabetically, which was my idea, I'm afraid. Um, so at the moment, there's no sorting uh, facility at the moment, but maybe in the future. At the moment, we are just sort, sorting automatically, alphabetically. Okay. Um, so if you're not a member of the stock, Smart Stock Scanners, don't forget you can get 19% off your first monthly subscription uh, by using the code HELP19. Help 19. Yes, it does export to spreadsheet as well. So you can um, sort that way. Uh, so help 19. And again, you're going to have, I'm going to log out right now. So if I log out, you go to smart list. I'm going to give you the link. Start smart stock scanner. Okay. ETFs and stocks, $97 a month, 19% off that for your first month. And what you got to think of in your training business, $97 a month for your smart scanner. Okay, you only need to do one trade a month and make 100 bucks a month to get a return on your investment. Okay. Some of the trades I've shown you here have risked a thousand to win seven thousand, ten thousand. Some of them might risk a thousand and only win a thousand. But ninety-seven dollars a month as part of your trading business isn't a great deal of money uh, as a cost to your business for the potential reward. Okay. And then when you sign in. Oh, yeah. You then can go to the smart list and you can go to your stock scanner and eventually you'll be able to pop this out as well, guys. But they're all in there. Remember, wake up in the morning. Part of your daily routine is to go through these new trades. Also, some of the older trades, they may not have triggered yet. Okay. 
Uh, the main thing is to uh, make sure you go through this list every day. If you're in a trade and it adjusts, the trading stop is above break even, it will adjust it every day. You just need to adjust it in suit, okay? For some reason, guys, I am not getting data, so I do apologize, but we've done an hour. I think it's, uh, you know, it's easy for me because I developed it, it's my strategy, very easy to use, but hopefully, now some of the questions have been answered and I will put this recording up so people can understand how easy it is to use this stocks scanner. Very, very simple. Works on the roller coaster trading strategy. Will only print those high probability moves. It has an 85% win rate. The only thing you have to do is use your smarts. Look at look left. Look for support resistance zones. Check out the risk reward. If the risk reward is less than one to 1.1, you're pro most likely not going to go for it. If it's at least a one to 0 0.5 to some minor support or resistance then you could probably go for it because you will get that trading stop being printed at break even. Okay, Paul. Thank you, Gary. Yes, we will be adding futures. I will quickly show you now. It's in beta testing. He says, I don't know where it is now. Where is it? Thank you, Ralph. So this is it now for futures roller coaster. Okay. Uh, so this is giving them live now, but we're we're only in testing at the moment. It's got a. I've got a. I've got to pass it. No, the bias is for um, price action above the points of control when you're using the bits, okay? It's on the bits indicator and it looks at higher time frames and it's got all the points of control have to be aligned. So the leading has to be above the lagging, which is above the main. If that's the case, if you're on a five minute, it automatically looks at 30 minute, for example. So it looks at the 30 minute is the bias bullish, neutral, or bearish, okay? So it looks at higher time frames, and it's, it is part of the, um, the uh, boot camp for, for bits, how the bias works, okay? Okay, guys, any more questions? on the smart stock scanner. Pretty simple to use. And again, guys, I would really, I mean, I can't say enough, if you can come to the New York Stroke online event to do some training, it is well worth it, okay? Give you the link again. I'm gonna be literally by my computer and unlike today you will be able to talk okay so today you can only chat but the event at the end of the month 25th and 26th i will be teaching the whole core trading strategy bits and roller coaster okay for two whole days not only that when i come back over to the us to new york you will be able to attend that event as well so you'll be able to ask more questions you get a double dip I've put um, the, the live event in there so you can have a look, go through it. It'd be great to, it's live and interactive. All weekend, I'm going to sit here and we're going we're gonna to teach, okay? Yeah, if you're a mega member, all the new scanners, whatever we do, so whether that's the future scanner, for um, for roller coaster, which will, should be launched in the next month or so, the stock smart scanner. If you're a mega member, anything new that we bring out, you get it for free. Okay, that's included in your five thousand dollar annual mega membership. You get the indicators, and you get every single smart scanner, smart stock list, everything for free. Everything new. 
And when you renew at the end of that year, you don't pay any more. Yes, as a mega member, you can get in on the online training event. Just make sure you email me. Yeah, TOS has gone, is, is not looking good at the moment. So I'm, I'm not training now anyway. Okay, guys, I'm going to get going. Uh, enjoy the rest of your trading week uh, in lockdown. And hopefully some of you have found this um, helpful to help you understand how to use the, the smart stock scanner and how potent this machine could be to get you in some really great swing trades. Thank you guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week and I'll speak to you all very soon.